Yo, what is up, Crocs and Clan members, fairy tale fans, and all of who's on this video? I'm Sars Crocson, and no, this video is out late, but I was not home this weekend. So, I wasn't able to watch the episode until today. So, what's going on? Well, I hate this episode, and I love it at the same time. And I also hate one of my friends, a very close friend of mine, who just happens to be my sister's boyfriend. Because he lied to me. And he did it on purpose, too, which made it even worse. Okay, so this is episode 69, right? And episode 69 is the... Wendy versus Ezel conclusion fight, which was awesome, by the way. Wendy whooped his ass. Like, just, just, oh my god. That was total annihilation. It was, he got blown away. Literally got blown away because she controls the air. So, you know, she made, <laughs> and she blew him away. <laughs> it was awesome. I like, I like the Dragon Force fight. That, that was really cool. Ezo transformed and everything. He had blades everywhere, and it was crazy. And it was awesome. It was an awesome fight. It was very like, like it was very like Wendy's side first, and then Ezo like kind of took the reins again, and then became like this even fight. And then Wendy blew him away, and it was just amazing. It was everything I had hoped for, Wendy wise. Like she was freaking teleporting. It was awesome. Like. I, don't get me wrong. Natsu's Dragon Force is badass. As hell. It is. He's got freaking fire and shit. Like, great. Uh, Gaji turns completely metal when he goes to Dragon Force. Which is cool. It's awesome. But Wendy freaking's able to teleport. Like, I'm sorry. Like, that just automatically makes her Dragon Force cooler. Besides the fact that she's able to control the entire area. You know, it's wind capacity. Is just beyond anything. Um, so it was, it was awesome, and it was ah, oh, I loved it. Wendy, Wendy's one of my favorites. I've been saying this for quite a while. I love Wendy. And then the worst thing happened. Like she blew up face. Like she, as soon as she blew up as hell, like she, she blew away and made face completely boom gone, except for a little like face area. And the countdown was still going on. I'm like everybody's like, huh? And like shit starts getting crazy. The cube starts vibrating because the face is about to activate. Nothing really happens in the cube stuff. Like literally, I'm glad they did it that way because we we're able to focus on Wendy way more. We just saw them, re you know, the cube reacting and everybody confused of why it's shaking. That's literally all that matters. Um. And, like, I guess we kind of see what's going on with the fights, but at the same time, not too much, which is perfect. And we go back to, back to Wendy and Charlie, and they're talking. Uh, it's it's, it's going to be over. Like, they, they can't, like, Wendy's sad because she's done. Like, right now, like, she blew Ezel away, but she can't do anything right now. She she literally, like, you know how Natsu was the first time he used Dragon Force? He couldn't do shit after he got out of it. It's the same thing. Wendy could barely move after that. And then they went, Charlotte just starts talking about, um, the future. She, she used her visions, and she literally, like, searched through all the possible futures, and she found one where her face didn't explode. And then she went over to face, she started doing some stuff, and she, like, she was gonna make it self-destruct. Unfortunately, she couldn't, like, see anything past face self-destructing, meaning she dies. What the f- <laughs> So she's over here, like, explaining this to Wendy, and Wendy's like, and then she's like, you gotta leave. And then, cause she can't determine the radius, the blast radius of the, of the explosion, so Wendy should get as far as she can. And Wendy's like, no. And they do this, and I hated it. I actually, I'll admit it. I'm gonna be a man and admit it. I cried. I cried. Okay, I did. And this was all because my friend. He 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 lied to me though. He lied to me. Oh my gosh, it was horrible. Like they do this flashback of of when she hatched and and 
their their time together. Wendy was like, I'm not going anywhere. We're going out together because we're friends. We're the best of friends. And they just show off everything from the beginning of their friendship all the way through nir the Nirvana stuff back to when they were part of the fairy tale. Just, oh my goodness, it was horrible. Like, I was straight up, I just could not handle it. I, I honestly was like, they're setting this up. They're going to die. And I'm not going to enjoy the series as much anymore. I honestly was just like, it's over for me. I mean, I mean Wendy's not my favorite at all. But I love her so much. Her character is literally, I don't know, I always liked her. And I felt like she had so much potential. She finally goes Dragon Force. And she's gonna fucking die. And like, they just do this. They do it so well. Like, the, I hate, I love and hate the fact that Fairy Tale's soundtrack is so amazing because they're able to use that as the perfect background for everything that's going on. And all I you hear is this sad music during the flashback and them together and and just. Them touching the thing to activate the self-destruct together. And it was just like, no! <laughs> the thing explodes into, like, this crazy shit. Like, the thing was so compact that if they really had, like, done enough time, they probably could have gone away. But because they were so weak, and Charlie couldn't fly, and Wendy could barely move, there was no way they could get out of that radius, even if it was really compact and small. And then it just explodes, and then I'm over here, like, crying and shit, and... Spoilers! She doesn't fucking die! <laughs> oh my goodness, they were setting it up so much. This is the second time they've done this in this arc, and it's kind of pissing me off. Although, I guess the first one, I actually got mad. This one, I'm glad it didn't happen, because it was messed up. Like, this is the first time they give Wendy Dragon Force and they're going to kill her off. I would have been pissed if they had. But Doran Bolt saves them both. Which was, oh my goodness, the moment I saw that dude, like, they, they did that thing where they, like, they do the, they zoom out of the blast radius, but then there's, like, this like, a little cliff thing. Like, you already know somebody's going to show up there. And I thought it was somebody going to be, like, one of the demons going to show up. Like, damn, what the fuck happened? No. Doran Bolt showed up, Wendy and Charlotte in his hands, and I just went, <gasps> Oh my goodness! Like, my heart almost stopped when I saw that. It was... <sighs> you guys don't even know. It was... I don't even... <laughs> I can't even explain it. There's no words for what happened when I saw that. And I loved it. I was like, oh my goodness. That was close. And I was crying that whole time. And I'm glad that she doesn't. she didn't die. I really am. Happy sacrifice like that one. She should have died. Like, that was, like, the perfect time to have... I mean, I know that Happy shouldn't die, but... Like, that would have been a perfect way for him to go out. But, you know, I got mad at that. Because the he 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 acted like he was just fine. Like, if he had actually crashed, I would have had no problem with it. But he literally just floated back and was like, I'm fine. No. This one, this is the perfect way to do that shit. Where you get saved from death. You're out. You cannot move. You're not okay. This was perfectly done, and I'm so glad they did it that way. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you cried as much as I did. I mean, maybe not as much because you're not that fan, that much fan of Wendy, or maybe you're just maybe manlier and you don't want to admit it or whatever. I am man enough to admit I cried over an anime, so shut the fuck up. Anyways, I'm out. I gotta go watch Pokemon and review that too, because I missed it. But anyways, this has been Soros Croxon. I'll see you guys in future videos.